What's up guys, it's Anger Saberson 15 and today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if uh, Google Chrome won't load, so it could just be just not loading at all if you open it and the pages won't load, any problem with that, even if it's just a general problem on Google Chrome uh, this should fix it and it means you won't even have to lose your bookmarks or any of your data that you had so there's three different steps that I created to uh, fix the problem completely. So the first way is reinstalling Google Chrome. So to do that you want to go and start control panel, uh, uninstall a program and then it will come up with all of your applications on your hard drive and then you want to scroll down and find Google Chrome you can double click on it or right click on it once and click on uninstall and then once you've done that it will take you this quick process and then you won't have Google Chrome anymore I would recommend restarting the computer and then uh, opening your second browser and then installing it again I'll put the link in the description and that should work for most people but I found it didn't work for me so my second way is going or finding your icon on your on your desktop home screen if you haven't got one just put it there if you don't know how to do that go and start for Windows this is for only Windows 7 and Vista so you want to uh, go to start and type in Chrome in fact let's put in, no it will come up and then you'll know it will come up with the first option and then you'll right click and then you'll, you'll want to go on send to and then desktop and then it will put it there for you straight away so you want to right click on the icon and then you want to, and then it will come up with all of these options you want to click on properties and then it will come up with this you've got general shortcuts compatibility security details and previous versions you want to click on shortcut for XP and Vista users it might be different but for Windows 7 this is should how it look okay and then it will come up with this target and that's the link for the hard drive so whenever whenever you open Chrome this is what it um, this is what it follows so you want to select that and then type in space and then a hyphen and then type no and then another hyphen and then sandbox and then that is it and then you want to click on OK and then that should work for most users as well obviously I don't want to do that and then you click on OK if you want to you can restart the computer and then you can double click or just click on Google Chrome and then it should work straight away Now this is the third option, this is the one I came up with, I spent a really long time trying to work it out and I finally figured it out. So for this one it's removing the file completely, it's like installing it but only when you install it, uninstall a, a program you don't remove the application or the files, you just, just, just remove it. So you want to remove the program completely, so to do this you want to go on or start and then go to your file so that one okay and then you go to your libraries and then you want to go on local disk and then you want to go on user and then you want to go on your person so I'm Angus and it'll come up with these you want to go on app data you want to go on local again and I'll come up with all of these, you want to scroll down it will show you some applications you have already on your computer obviously you want to click on Google Chrome user data and then it will come up with this now if you don't care about your bookmarks or any of your data you've had like that for example a background you've put on 
um, just delete that straight away. However, if you want to keep all your bookmarks and all of all of the data you've got on Google Chrome, even though it's not working, what you want to do is you want to right click on that entire folder and then you want to save it in your documents. So copy and then for example put it in downloads. Um, so I've put it in downloads already and I've got it there. And then that that which is the same folder. And then and then um, what you do is you delete that and then you don't need to worry because that's that's all of it backed up that's the only important stuff you need and then you delete that before after you've backed it up and then you delete the rest of the folder it might come up with error because you need uh, permission but just keep trying delete that folder delete that folder etc and then what you want to do is do the same process so you want to go to your second browser and then install it using the link in the description and then it should work straight away yeah I've just realized a mistake that I haven't uh, said in the video for the third step if the second did, the second first steps didn't work um, for copying and pasting it's pretty simple just go to the document and then select default and then you want to go to the file again, so it's users, and then your person, well, your account, and then app data, and then local, and then Google, and then Chrome. You want to paste that and then that should work after you've pasted it and you want to make sure you've replaced it and not copied it because that's replacing the files to the default files and then that will save all of your file all of your bookmarks if if you don't care about that then that's fine you don't need to worry about that but if you want your bookmarks then you need to make sure you replace the files and not copy them or cut them either Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you at all, please click the like button below.